Hi. Okay, yesterday I shared in the video about um, uh, this core book, Soul of Money. I still bring this uh, and I want to discuss about this topic. Uh, today is more about uh, relationship with money. Okay, based on this book and what I have um, gathered so far and what I have uh, What I have learned uh, distinctively about this uh, topic and how does it relate to my own story about the relationship of money so yeah so this topic today will be relationship with money oh the word is upside down yeah okay yeah uh, in this book I learned something like uh, what is money actually how does it come about and how money can make us do bad thing or good thing is depending our relationship with money itself so where does the relationship with money come from is for my own story uh, to make it easy for me to discuss is because you know each of us experience different things during the childhood right and these uh, experiences shape our belief or we call it blueprint or belief or values about money so in my story about money is as i grew up in a very poor environment uh, in, in indonesia in central java so where everything i and my siblings and my parents' experience are very scarce. So, you know, to us, money is, is, is very hard to earn and money is only for... Uh, so, I, I'm just saying that this, as I recall, my rich neighbor used money to uh, bully people. And also to humiliate people, I mean, uh, among the our our villagers, and often or frequently use the money as a power to give authority and to make people fear fear of them. So, in my growing up with money, because of the experiences that what people has been saying about my parents. That my parents are poor and have and yet have so many children and cannot feed them. The constant of uh, humiliation from the wagging tails of the neighbors keep coming into my ears, and that's that makes me, you know, uh, unconsciously relate that rich people are mean, you know. And rich people don't have the empathy of the poor people. And even if they want to give the things that they cannot or they don't want anymore, they just give it in a very scarcity way. Uh, such as example, oh, if I don't give you, you got nothing to eat. Uh, some, some kind of such words. I heard that for, for the neighbor that who has money. So I'm growing up, you know, believing that the rich people are just arrogant and not kind and use the money to bully people so i have this uh, relationship with money that uh, money is not is not a uh, uh, money is the root of the evil uh, the money is the root of all evil so that was my uh, you know uh, relationship with money and along the way when i grow up I too have a very uh, in a conflict of money. I know that money is important, and yet at the same time, I don't want to be slave by the money. So I take money as as pretend to be not important, but and yet yes, it's important because you know we we need money to survive in in this current world. Maybe in future, in future we don't need, but in this world, we need money to survive in exchange of what you want to feel so money 
money is actually is to buy some things for what you want to feel for example i want to feel uh, i want to feel some kind of like a significance so use money to buy some things that make me significance or use money to help someone that makes me that that feeling of significance so that is basically it of the relationship of money is is kind of like to exchange is a tool of exchange for what you want to feel or what you want to be yes that is that is the the, the case lah. so back to my relationship with money i pretend to be that money is not important so i feel so detached and I, I i treated money as not important and there was one time uh, i went to millionaire mine millionaire mine intensive where we have uh exercise to test whether we want to burn money or not and we have pail on the ground and the uh, uh you know like money on my hand and at the same time there's a uh fire or something yeah uh to test whether you know like this money is important or not so for example i just give for example i'm just giving you the demo yeah there was a uh, something to use to burn i i, I can't recall in english suddenly that, that that dictionary is missing so i just ready the money and then i did burn it you know i use the money i use the fire to burn the money and then after the exercise uh the half acre was the trainer at the time he emphasized to us that how you treat money is reflections of how the money will come to you so if you treat money is not important then you will have a hard time finding money or you will have you will have a hard time attracting money to your life so at that time i i, I didn't really understand yeah, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a slave to money. Why would I be a slave to money? So the question is not about money is a slave or money is a bad thing. The question is how do we have the relationship with money? So if we treat money is in insignificance, so then, then you will have a hard time attracting money into your life. But if you are treating money as as a, a power as a, a tool to manipulate or control power then your worth your your worthness of self worthness is actually based on the money the moment money the moment you are uh, you know like the moment god strip away money from you you will become worthless because your value your your worth your self worth is depend on money so we want to be in congruence of how we want to be you know uh, in a relationship with money yeah so again like what, what i uh, emphasize it's not so much about the money it's more about what we experience with money and then how do we solve that you know a uh, bitter experience of with money and then come to me with it and and you know be open to uh, a knowledge that how does money how the, how do you uh, view or have a perspective of money yeah so come back to my experience for example, for easier to understand is using my story. So my story about money is when I was, you know, like as I said, when I was young, my relationship with money is I'm not very happy because people who have money use that to manipulate others who are less fortunate than them. And I, I, I grew up having this uh, vengeful of, you know, like, heart that one day if i'm rich i'm going to do the same to you so my relationship with money 
has this vengeful something to be you know like show off something to be uh proof that you know i i can be like you too when i have money and then at the same time i have this conflict that i don't want to be manipulated by money and i want to you know i i want to distance myself i don't want to appear as if i'm very greedy and i also don't want to don't want to make myself you know uh acknowledge that money is important to me yes even though in reality it's important but in my conscious is that i'm not going to be a slave by money so i want to control money yeah in that conflict right i i was like having a struggle so much because i need money and yet i also want to detach with money and and so that i don't want to calculate you know for example i i buy something and 50 dollars and the return i actually didn't come back, i just put it in the wallet and there was one time in singapore i want to prove myself that i want to make my bank uh, my money in the bank empty and i really did that because i want to you know prove to myself that i'm not controlled by you money you know yeah i was having that attitude and yes the and in results of the attitude money very hard to come to me in 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 a way that when i save it finished very fast uh, somehow it, it it's not me who spend it it's something that happened and i have to take out the money so some things to my my family happened to my family or something my parents happened so that the money goes out more than come in so in in that in that situation I actually my action was to prove that i'm not a slave to money and money is not important to me at all yeah so the attitude actually uh, gave me a lesson that we ourselves is not we ourselves has to understand consciously and unconsciously that how our relationship with money and when i come to terms with it and i release all the belief and the blueprint of value of money that money is the evil money is the root of sufferings money is the is the cause of my pain and money is the cause of my humiliation all those are released unconsciously from the unconscious level of mind using the technique of nlp um using the technique of eft using the technique of uh, past regression and when the moment i released that uh, belief or blueprint about me having relationship with money that way and i make a new decision to input a new belief of money that money is actually a tool for me to help people to impact people in a good way for humility for myself and for my family and you know so with this kind of new decision a new belief and installation of new blueprint into my conscious to unconscious to subconscious and the money start to actually come in in a way that unexpected the, uni the universe just uh, give you the opportunities Okay, just give you the money in a form of opportunities so yeah so need to know what is uh, deep inside you about how you view money so maybe some of you having uh, you know like a belief that your parents love money more than you because when you were young your parents have no time for you and all the time working working and working and you have no attention from them so uh, in this scenario maybe you have a belief that your parents that that money actually robbed you away from love from your parents or if if you believe that uh, uh, when you were young you believe that uh, someone is measure you with uh, money then then you actually will have a relationship of hate 
for money because because they don't see you they see money so yes that's uh that's basically it's about uh knowing what you believe or what is your blueprint about money and very importantly just now when i read this book right it actually uh, emphasize this thing called making a living that affirms life okay um there is this uh, always with us right this uh, conflict of interest or there is something that is money interest versus calling of our soul so what do i mean by that just now when i uh, read about this book it makes me understand that if our domain is all about money in whatever services or actions of your business is all about money and profits yeah and if it is uh and also for the domain of money interest in our mind usually our behavior will be very calculative very scarce mindset and not willing to share not not generous and very competitive okay but if our mind having a calling of our soul that means the domain of our mind is based on the uh, domain of the souls we act generosity we act in a way that is based on our soul there is a generosity abundance blessing others and open hearts you know like willing to share abundance mindset so we will not have this uh, uh belief that if i give more i have nothing left so that is the basically the domain of uh, money interest in our side uh, in ourselves so if it's uh, soul if our uh, domain of interest is calling of our souls then our mindset is different we are more real uh, ready to share by sharing you gain more the universe will give you more than what you can share because the universe will act in a way that they the universe will give you what you need if you just need for one person then the universe will give you the needs of one person but if you tell the universe the universe that you need to help others impact other people with the money that you are going to earn then the universe is going to give you more based on what you need this is the story of uh, uh, mother teresa actually mother teresa never asked for herself but she asked the universe for others the people that she's going to help so the universe give mother teresa exactly what she needs yeah so this is the lesson that i learned from the soul of money uh, money's uh, soul the soul of the money yeah this is the first chapter uh, what i've learned and i am sharing this with you hopefully this video will help you to you know like understand where what is your relationship with money and how you can solve the that that blueprint or belief about money and once you know about the blueprint of money you're able to release the blueprint of money that is not a uh, benefit uh, it's not a uh, good for you or it's not benefited for you so you can is release it and a new install new belief or blueprint that helps you to attract money so that's for today um watch out for the next video i'm going to uh discuss or comment of the next chapter or the next topic so that uh, you know you can keep watch out and do give me feedback constructive feedback of uh how i should uh, record video next time and i do value your feedback and yes let's uh be kind spread humility and if you don't like it you don't have to comment but you can email me your constructive feedback i'll be very grateful for that thank you so much